Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to all my students. Okay, today we are going to continue our lesson in 3.1 for chapter 3, Redox. Okay, in the previous lesson, we have learned for three definitions on how to define the redox in terms of oxygen, hydrogen, and electron. So today we are going to continue for the fourth definition of the redox, which is in terms of oxidation number. Okay, so look at here, for oxidation is said is increased in the oxidation number, whereas for reduction is the process where the decrease in oxidation number. Okay, so we look at how the sample for this reaction. Okay, the first one we must know what is the, uh, oxidation numbers. Okay, so oxidation number is the number of charges assigned to the element either positive number or negative number or it could be zero. Okay, so there are a few rules for assigning the oxidation number. I look at the first one. Okay, so the oxidation number of a simple ion. Okay, for example, sodium ion. Okay. Okay, so it is said that the oxidation number of a simple ion is the charge of the ion. Okay, charge ni kita dah belajar during form 4 where you have to memorize the charge for N ion and cat ion. So, dia cakap the oxidation number of the simple ion adalah sama dengan charge ion tersebut. Contohnya, sodium ion. So, dia punya ni Na plus, right? So, plus refer to oxidation number plus 1. Okay. Whereas magnesium ion, Mg2+, plus. okay, so dia punya oxidation number is plus 2. So, apa beza oxidation number dengan charge ion adalah, okay, charge dia akan tulis nombor dulu, kemudian baru sign positif. Kalau oxidation number dia terbalik, you must write the sign first and then baru number. Okay, so in exam nanti kalau you terbalik, uh, kalau saya minta what is the oxidation number for magnesium ion, you tulis 2 plus, dia akan jadi salah. So, be careful. You must write, we determine oxidation numbers, must write plus 2. Uh, bukan 2 plus. So, read the question carefully. So, saya minta oxidation number ataupun charge number. Okay, so the aluminium ion, Al3 plus, so the oxidation number is plus 3. The same goes for N ion. For example, chloride ion is minus 1. Ha, bila minus saja, maknanya 1 eh. Okay, uh, nitric ion, N3 minus, so negative 3. Okay, so this is the first rule. The second rule. Okay, dia cakap, the sum of oxidation numbers of a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge of the polyatomic ion. Okay, kalau tadi dia simple ion. Ha, dia macam satu je. Ni sodium, ni magnesium, aluminium, chlor chloride, oxide. Okay, for this case, dia jadi compound. Okay, polyatomic. Bermana ada banyak combination of ion. For example, manganese ion. So, dalam manganese ion, ha, dia ada manganese dengan oxide ion. So, dia punya, dia punya charge is negative. Bermakna oxidation number dia negative 1. So, how? how Macam mana kita, how to calculate the oxidation number for this manganese ion? Okay. So, look at here. So, manganese, dia punya charge number is uh, 7 plus. Okay. Jadi, kita tulis oxidation number dia plus 7 plus dengan ada 4 oxide ion. So, 4 times dengan negative 2. Negative 2 is the uh, charge number for oxide which is O2 negative. So, uh, darab dua ni. So, equal to negative 1. Kenapa negative 1? Because uh, kat atas ni, ni dia punya uh, apa ni? charge untuk polyatomic ion negative 1. So, after you selesai, uh, you akan dapat negative 1 plus, plus 7 tolak dengan 
negatif 8 jadi kita akan dapat negatif 1 that's why you dapat negatif 1 the same goes for chromate ayong nak tengok CRO4 2 minus so dia adalah polyatomic because dia ada chromium ion dengan oxide ion so kat sini charge dia negatif 2 jadi oxidation numbers dia negatif 2 ok so how to calculate so kita tahu chromium is plus 6 chromium ion is plus 6 dia punya oxidation number ok plus dengan ada 4 darab dengan negatif 2 jadi plus 6 tolak 8 akan dapat negatif 2 ok the same goes for sulfate so kita ada sulfur dengan oxide so sulfur plus 6 plus dengan 4 times negative 2 oxide so we get negative 2 oxidation number for sulfate ion ok this one for polyatomic ions ok Next, number 3, the oxidation numbers of atoms in element is 0. So, element is biasanya adalah atom. Atom ada cakap, ini for atom. So, contohnya sodium. Na saya cakap, sodium metal. So, dia adalah atom. So, tengok kat atas ni tak ada apa-apa kan. Dia adalah 0. Okay, bromine gas. Okay, Br2 pun tak ada apa-apa kan. So, dia adalah 0. So, oxidation number dia adalah 0. Ha, contoh, sodium jangan keliru. Kalau cakap sodium ion, ha, macam tadi, ion, ha, dia ada sign. Positif, right? Berarti dia plus 1. That's why you kena pandai differentiate which one is ion, which one is metal. Okay, for this case, it is sodium metal. Ataupun sodium atom. Okay, number 4. Rule number 4, the sum of oxidation number of compound is equal to 0. Ini adalah bentuk compound pula. Contoh, sodium chloride. So, dia adalah ionic compound. When you react sodium dengan chlorine. Jadi, oxidation number dia 0. Macam mana dia dapat? Okay, sodium ion Na plus tambah dengan chloride ion Cl minus jadi plus 1 tambah dengan negatif 1 dapat kosong. The same goes carbon dioxide pun compound dia ion sorry dia covalent compound ha, jadi carbon is 4 plus dengan 2 times negative 2 jadi 4 plus 4 tambah dengan negatif 4 kita akan dapat kosong ok macam mana nak tahu dia punya apa ni contohnya carbon dia punya oxidation number plus 4 ok itu you kena memorize benda ni you dah ada masa chapter 2 masa form 4 uh, you can refer in the type of cation and anion. Okay, sulfuric acid sama juga. Okay, sebab dia dah compound and dia tak ada charge kat atas ni kan. No charge, right? Berapa dia adalah zero. Okay. Okay, rule number five for the special cases. Okay, tak ada a few cases eh. Okay, the first one kita tengok. Dia cakap, all group one element have oxidation number plus 1. Ha, kita tahu semua group buat elemen sodium, potassium, fluorine, rubidium, ok akan ada nombor plus 1 contoh so, sodium ion Na plus kan ha, jadi dia punya oxidation number is plus 1 potassium K plus, jadi plus 1 lagi uh, lithium Li plus, ha, jadi dia punya oxidation number is plus 1 the same goes for group 2 Okay, because dia group 2, contohnya magnesium. Okay, 2, 8, 2. So, in order to stable, it must donate 2 electron. So, after donate 2 electron, it will become Mg2+. plus. So, dia punya oxidation number will become plus 2. Calcium also Ca2+, plus, right? Ha, jadi, the oxidation number is plus Ha, this one you must remember lah you dah banyak kali jumpa should be you dah ingat ok all group 3 element have the oxidation number plus 3 ha. for example aluminium Al2 O3 ok so dalam ni ada aluminium ion Al3 plus dengan oxide ion O2 minus so dia punya ni plus 3 because kita dah tahu aluminium memang plus 3 so to prove the calculation ok you, you boleh uh, 
Okay, for example, this one nak cari untuk aluminium kan. Jadi, ya, dalam compound ni ada dua aluminium, atom aluminium. Jadi, dua darab dengan X. X ni refer pada aluminium yang kita gantikan dengan X. Tambah dengan tiga. Because dalam ni ada tiga atom oksigen darab dengan oxide punya uh, charge. Negatif dua. So, equal to zero. Okay, because dia compound. Tak ada charge kan. Ha? Equal to zero lah. Okay, jadi selesai, selesai ke masalah ni 2x equals to plus 6 ha, Yang tadi kan negatif 2x tolak 6 Jadi tolak 6 pindah sana jadi plus 6 X equal to plus 3 ha, Exam nanti kalau you tertinggal plus kat depan ni You tulis 3 je, 2 je, 1 je ha, Akan jadi salah Masa relation number mesti ada sign kat depan Either plus or uh, negative minus Okay and then for group 17 halogen have the oxidation negative 1 in most of the yang compound okay. kebanyakannya okay, tapi ada juga special case dia tak dapat negative 1 dia tak, uh, oxidation number dia uh, berbeza okay, contohnya elemen chloride chlorine in sodium chloride Okay, dia negatif 1 kita tahu lah group 17 dia punya charge semua negatif 1 because semua elemen group 17 mesti receive 1 electron in order to achieve stable octet electron arrangement contohnya chlorine 2 8 7 jadi in order to stable dia mesti gain 1 electron after gain 1 electron dia akan jadi chloride ion so chloride ion Cl minus jadi dia punya oxidation number is minus 1 same goes for bromide ok bromine pun mesti gain 1 electron so after gain the electron dia akan jadi bromide ion Br minus so oxidation number dia negative 1 and then ok for this case special chlorine you tengok ah uh, dia plus 5 macam mana dapat plus 5 uh, you can calculate ok K is plus 1 K plus tambah dengan kita nak cari chlorine C, uh, gantikan dengan X plus dengan 3 darab negatif 2 negatif 2 ni because outside eh, outside O to minus equal to 0 jadi selesaikan max macam biasa pindah-pindah X kita akan dapat plus 5 ha, inilah dia cakap yang special case ha, ok tak semua tapi jarang-jarang ada juga ok tapi kebiasaannya chlorine ni ada chloride ion adalah negatif 1 ok Next special case is oxygen. Okay, so dia cakap oxygen has the oxidation number negative 2 in most of its compound. Ada exceptional for hydrogen peroxide. Okay, kita tengok. Ha, macam kes tadi, aluminium oxide. Okay, dalam ni kita tahu oxide punya charge is 2 negative, right? So, dia punya oxidation number adalah negative 2. So, how to prove kita kira. Okay, 2 darab dengan plus 3. Plus 3 oxidation number for aluminium. Darab dengan 2 because ada 2 atom aluminium. Tambah dengan 3 darab dengan X. Andaikan kita tak tahu kan. Ha, jadi, oxygen ni X equal to 0. Kenapa 0? Because dia compound. Dia neutral. Dia tak ada charge. Okay, jadi selesaikan 3 X. Tambah dengan 6. Jadi, pindahkan tambah 6. Sebelah sini jadi negatif. Dan X equal to negative 2. So, that's why kita dapat negatif to for oxide ok akan tapi special case for hydrogen peroxide ok kita kira ok dia dapat negatif 1 1 2 hydrogen 2 darab plus 1 hydroxide uh, sorry hydrogen ion kita tahu H plus jadi dia plus 1 tambah dengan 2 darab X X ni oxide yang kita tak tahu kita gantikan dengan X equal to 0 0 juga because dia neutral compound tak ada cas apa-apa so 2S equal to negative 2 X equal to negative 1 ok this one kita skip because dia dah tak ada dalam syllabus you can read eh only yourself lah Okay, so task 5 You have to calculate the oxidation number For each atom bolen in each question So do it and you snap MPM to me as usual In your module page 102 Okay, this is our business Our main business today So how to define the redox reaction In terms of change in the oxidation number Tadi kita dah belajar what is oxidation number How to calculate the oxidation number Sekarang kita nak belajar How to describe the reaction in change In terms of the change in the oxidation number Okay 
So look at here. So we have the reaction between magnesium atom reacts with copper oxide. It's a compound. Okay, solid to form magnesium oxide also compound and copper atom. Okay, this one is metal. Ni metal oxide. Ni pun metal oxide. This one is metal. Okay. So tengok kat sini. Magnesium after the reaction become magnesium oxide copper oxide after duration becomes the copper so kita decide which one is oxidation which one is reduction okay so tengok magnesium okay before duration is atom so bila atom dia zero dia punya oxidation number ha, seperti yang kita dah belajar masa rule tadi so after duration it becomes magnesium oxide magnesium oxide is a ionic compound so dalam ni ada ion dia jadi ion mg2 plus dengan o2 minus Okay, so kat sini dari Mg, after the reaction, become ionic compound Mg2+. So, you can see, you can see the oxidation number changes from zero in magnesium atom and becomes plus two, which is in magnesium ion Mg2+. So, we can say magnesium atom is oxidized to form magnesium oxide so kenapa dia oxidize because kita dah define our, our oxidation this process so why the oxidation number increase so kat sini kita boleh tengok oxidation number for magnesium dah bertambah dari 0 kepada plus 2 ok so oxidation, oxidation number of magnesium atom is increase from 0 to plus 2 after oxidize to form magnesium 2 plus ion ok so di sini we can say that uh, kita kena bagi tahu dah copper oxide acts as oxidizing agent bertindak sebagai agent penoksidaan di mana dia telah bantu magnesium atom oxidize to form magnesium oxide. Okay, lebih kurang macam tadi juga explanation. Okay, so now the second reagent is copper oxide. After the reaction, they become copper metal. So, we can conclude macam ni lah dia punya half equation. They can oxy uh, electron. Okay, so, look at here. Before the reaction, Cu2 plus uh, dalam ni kan. This one is ionic compound because between metal, copper dengan non-metal oxygen oxide. So, dalam ni ada Cu2 plus ion dengan O2 minus ion. So, from Cu2 plus after the reaction become Cu metal, Cu atom becomes Cu. So, we can see the oxidation number kat atas ni from 2 plus after reaction becomes 0. So, we can say copper 2 ions, this one is reduce uh, atoms dia dah reduce because dia mengalami proses reduction to form copper atom which is Cu so the oxidation number of Cu is decreased from plus 2 to 0 after being reduced to form copper atom so di sini magnesium uh, magnesium as as a reducing agent so kawannya sini akan jadi agent yang membantu copper oxide ni diturunkan menjadi copper metal ok sama juga dia punya explanation macam the previous definition ok so we can conclude that the oxidation is the process where the substance increase in oxidation number whereas the reduction is a process where the substance decrease in its oxidation number so kat sini magnesium mengalami proses oxidation dan bertindak sebagai reducing agent ha, dia mengalami proses oxidation so dia akan jadi agent penurunan ha, dia reverse dia terbalik ok mana kala copper oxide mengalami proses reduction undergoes reduction dan dia bertindak sebagai oxidizing agent ok ha, ni you kena betul-betul faham lah supaya you tidak confuse dan tidak tertukar ok task 6 ok refer in your module page 103 104 do it and complete snap and pn to me right after the class
okay next is a naming compound using oxidation number you can refer in your module page 104 and 105 okay so look at here okay the oxidation number of the element in cation is written in the roman numeral place in bracket just behind of the element contohnya ah ni okay element dalam transition element contoh copper Fe dengan Pb dia mempunyai oxidation number yang lebih daripada satu this one we have learned in chapter 4 other special characteristic of the transition element di mana salah satunya adalah it has more than one oxidation number for example copper we have two oxidation number which is plus one and plus two jadi bila kita guna copper plus one copper one copper plus okay so Contohnya dalam compound copper oxide nama dia kena letak roman 1 because dia adalah plus 1. Okey bila formula dia copper CuO bermakna ini adalah copper 2 plus. Okey bila kita cross Cu2 plus cross oxide O2 minus kita akan dapat CuO. So nama dia must put the roman 2. Ha, that's why Exam bila guna copper sulfate, copper nitrate We must put Roman 2 Kalau tak ada Roman 2, dia akan jadi salah The same goes for copper oxide Copper 2 oxide ha, Kalau formula macam ni Cu2O itu adalah copper 1 oxide Because kita cross Cu plus cross O2 minus Kita akan dapat Cu2O This one is basic during form 4 eh. How you get this one? You cross cross criss cross method Okay, the second element is Fe. Ini tiga ni yang popular. Fe kita ada plus 2 and plus 3. So, nama dia kalau this one FeCl2 bermakna ion 2 chloride. We cross Fe2 plus dengan, sorry, Fe2 plus dengan Cl minus. Jadi, we get FeCl2. And the second case for ion 3 chloride, we cross between Fe3 plus dengan Cl minus. Jadi, we get FeCl3. Okay, for Pb, we have 2. Plus 2 and plus 4. This one you have remember lah. A few elements ni. Okay. So, kalau formula cakap let PbO bermakna itu adalah let 2 outside because we, got, we cross Pb2 plus dengan O2 minus. Sekarang soalan cakap let 4 outside. Ha, ni between let 4 pp4 plus cross dengan oxide o2 minus jadi kita dapat pbo2 okay that's why very important for you to put the uh, roman in bracket bila ada transition element dalam sesuatu compound okay so next dia cakap if the element have only one oxidation number do not write the oxidation number for example sodium chloride Okay, kita tak tulis sebagai sodium 1 chloride because kita tahu sodium is a group 1 dia bukan transition element jadi dia cuma ada satu saja oxidation number iaitu plus 1 jadi don't have to put the roman the same goes for magnesium oxide kita tak tulis magnesium 2 oxide walaupun kita tahu Mg2 plus because magnesium is not transition element dia group 2 jadi dia mempunyai satu saja oxidation number jadi kita tak payah tulis dua just magnesium oxide because kita tahu magnesium cuma ada magnesium 2 plus sahaja ok ok uh, this one is the uh, common name for a few compound you boleh tengok lah eh? chlorine nitrogen in your in your module page 105 ok and the last task is task 7 H106 ok write the name dia dah bagi dan dia formula you have to decide ok tengok macam manganese ni transition element dia ada dua oxidation number jadi you kena tengok which one dia punya uh, manganese ok Fe pun sama ni ke lah be careful check one by one ok yang ni pula dia bagi formula nama then dia suruh tulis formula macam ni balik ok macam biasa uh, complete this task and PM to me right after the class so in summary we have learned four way on how to define the redox okay, in terms of gain or loss of oxygen hydrogen electron and the last one increase or decrease in oxidation number Okay, in the next lesson, we are going to learn the type of redox reaction. Okay, so we have five actually, eh? 
Okay, see you in the next class. Thank you.